Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Lost in Play. So we are playing as the girl again, the sister. Uh, she is reading from the fairy tale book to the Goblin King. No relation to David Bowie. Um, and I haven't done anything yet with this puzzle, so I'm not entirely no, sure what we're here to do. We need something so for the I? well. She needs a plant to go there. What about, what about over here? Egg. There's the plant. Mm -hmm. Can you chuck that down? Oh, we can. That's good. She doesn't know what to do. Okay, so why don't we go and put the plant in the, the flower bed? Flower bed. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, she's going to do that again, isn't she? Okay, I was just seeing if we could pick up the flower pot. Let's, let's keep the plant where it is. <laughs> and we'll see if there's anything off to the left or right, maybe. Okay, over there. Right over here. I would think that we probably need to put water on the plant, make it grow, and do it so we can climb up and reach the king. Where the egg fits in, I don't know. Jolina! Nabanunka. Where do we get the handle from? Chachalong! Chachalong! Oh! Oh! Mmm! Chachalong! <laughs> All right, okay, so, well, we've got the handle here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So if I now go to sort of this time, can I use the well now? What about if it goes... It's a bit like Day of the Tentacle, this, isn't it? Do we need water? What if we dig here now? <laughs> What happens if we come over here now? Uh, but if we come... Oh, we can't get across now, but it's grown into a tree. Uh, which is good. Oh, is, it, is there an egg down there? Down there, so. Something there's a brick. Oh, is it part of the tower? Yeah, I reckon that's part of the tower that's plopped off. If he could remove that safety now, it wouldn't collapse the bridge.
The only thing I can do is uproot this. Pick this up. And now there's no tree there. Sukene? <laughs> Wondering if we could plant the tree over here somewhere. So we could climb up it here. He just gave it to us. Ooh. Oh no, pop, pop it down a bit. Let's see what happens when we do this. Okay, so in the up next age, nothing has happened. It's just in the bucket. Oh, but it's... Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a bit like Day of the Tentacles toilet, isn't it? Okay, cool. I notice now that it's kind of torn through, so we can pass things between the ages now. So let's plant it in the earlier age, and then see where that's got us uh, now. Ah. Let's hit the egg. Uh, can we hit the brick? No. She uses the brick to get out. Okay, so now let's put the egg uh, in the bucket. Uh, no bird there. So let's take the egg out now. Maybe the bird will do something with it. Papa Crockley, hey. Right, so what happens in the future now? It's got. Hmm. Was oh, it a snake? Oh, it's a tortoise. Oh, but the tortoise wants the water, so we need to go back to the earlier time, uproot the tree. Uh, and now, if we go to there. Happy little tortoise in the water. Can we pick him up? We can. Okay. What problem do we want the tortoise for now? <laughs> uh, I mean, we can put him in the bucket. That's not an issue. Bucket and we'll try him in the other ages. We'll kind of let's go back to the earlier one. What if we got him here? <laughs> what does that do later on? Oh, he's becoming a big tortoise. Oh, look at that. We can get across hey, to the prince uh, now, I suppose. Can we? <laughs> 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 Mm. Yeah. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> Me, oh my! <laughs> a tower's gonna collapse. Oh, I <laughs> oh, 
might be nice to do some stuff in those places. Never mind. It's all quite funny. <laughs> right, so we've got to put the crown on for the frogs, right? Kuchlukamola. <laughs> oh, we've got to get on top of the frogs. Archway now. Oh, little froggy. Maybe we put the crown on that frog. Hmm? Hmm? I like a pony. So, uh, I mean, very detailed instructions, obviously. Um, rip, rip. Is it a bit like the Fox and the Hounds game? Rip, rip. <laughs> 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 Surround it? Mm -hmm. I am going to go into a corner now. Rip, rip. Apart from that. Rip, rip. Well, I mean, there must be a method mm -hmm. to this. Rip, rip. Rip, rip. Rip, rip. Rip, rip. And can I grab him now? Okay, I, may, I maybe could have done that earlier. I was kind of trying to corner him. Um, uh, so, yeah, I maybe could have done that sooner, I'm not sure. There they go, they're going to go through. Am I controlling them? Why does he hate us so much? Okay, well, that's something. Oh, goodness. Everything's all messed up. We can kind of flap around. Let's take the book. Can opener, can flies. Okay, I remember that. Uh, motor... reminding us of all the things we've done but okay this bottle I was hearing a little uh, fire bug 
coin in the tree. <laughs> 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 Quite the same as the family portrait we had before. And okay, it might be important. Oh, uh, phone box. Puchina Caroline. We have a coin. Mm-hmm. Ha-ha. 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 been in the book. Um, let's go and have another look at that. Oh, one in, cup in the stomach. One, two, three. Look at the other pages. One, two, three. Playing card is one. A goblin with a lollipop. Steering wheel is three. So what's two? Handbag. Right. Her. Her steering wheel was three, I think, which was the. Him. Uh, and one was what? Oh, okay, him, I guess. Got another cup. Can we get the sword out? Doesn't look like it. Krutotik! Eh? Siporne! So we're looking for teacups, not quite sure why yet, but... So this relates to the picture. So we got tongues, green eye, okay. Let's go have a look at that picture. The green eye was looking at pink ice cream. Purple paw had the boy. Blue paw had the girl. And the tongue has green ice cream. Ah, green ice cream. I was purple ice cream. Purple paw had the boy, that's what that is, and that had the girl. Ah. Here we go, three of those, so... Looks to be enough. The question is, where do we use them? Ah, he wants those. Okay, so let's have that then. Grutotik! seen the crown yet. Grutotik! Through the door. Ooh. Ah, she wants a watering can. Okay, well, a we'll get that. Mm. Mm. 
go that way. Let's go this way. Ooh. He? Cool. I assume that's all we're here to do. Looks like it. We'll give that to the blue frog, I suppose. And I think that might be it. Well, there we go. That was Lost in Play. And I think that's probably one of the most charming point and click adventure games I think I've ever played. It was um, good fun. Uh, I think I said in an earlier episode that the puzzles were pretty good. I mean, there were some that, you know, with a with a text or audio description that I might have got to the point of a little bit sooner. Um, sometimes I found sort of the visual cues not always the most obvious, but that's fine because, um, by and large, they were really good, and uh, there were some there I actually really enjoyed as well. Um, and I think the fact that there are puzzles that. Um, you know, it's not kind of use object A with object B to get result C. Um, there's sort of like little activities and games and stuff that mean that there's a little bit of replayability there as well. You know, I'd, I'd probably happily have played like a little mini game of that bottle top game. I actually, I actually really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, the sweet little story. I mean, the art style and the graphics obviously are just amazing for this type of game. They just fit really well. They just look really cool. Um, it's really nice vibes. I mean, the soundtrack I think was really good. Um, it's really sort of charming and relaxing and chill, a um, little bit otherworldly, and just kind of helped to create that atmosphere that just really sold the game. Um, yeah, really pleased I played it. Not the longest game, I think probably, all told, it's what, about four hours? You know, give up. Oh, and they're based on real kids as well. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, maybe four hours, sort of give or take how long it takes you to do some of those, um, some of those trickier puzzles. But um, yeah, overall, very very happy I played it and hopefully it's something you enjoyed as well uh, and if you did if you could uh, give this video a thumbs up that'd be fantastic leave me a comment let me know what you think about the game as a whole now that we've finished it uh, this series in particular um, anything you like always happy to hear you know what you guys are thinking and lastly if you're watching this video if you've watched this series and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel it'd just be amazing if you could do so um, it'd be great to have you around so thanks very much, and I hope to see you elsewhere on Boring Dead Gaming for other games, other playthroughs, and um, yeah, see you there. Bye for now.